Continuing to sift through the rubble of towns across Syria and Turkey left destroyed by the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that rocked the region on Monday. Teams are working nonstop through freezing temperatures and now officials fear there aren't many survivors left to rescue. This as we learned the latest number of deaths in that region now soaring past 11,000 people. This marks a disturbing milestone. This earthquake is now the deadliest natural disaster in a century. And just to show you the sheer scope of the damage, we found satellite images showing before and after the earthquake slammed that area, completely wiping homes and buildings off the map. And that brings us here. A massive tent city is now spreading through one region as more than 40,000 people seek shelter after the quake. More than 92,000 tents and 123,000 beds have been sent into disaster zones across the region. Back on the ground now, we are getting our first look at the children quickly becoming known as the Miracle Twins. Wow, they were pulled from rubble in Turkey after surviving for 40 hours under a collapsed building. My goodness. Just amazing. These crews are doing incredible work in such a horrifying and tragic situation. And now a local organization is leading uh, the uh, the help effort in Turkey. And John Hopperstad joining us now in, in studio. And John, everybody wants to know at this point how they can help. That's right, and local nonprofit Impact Northwest, they respond to global disasters around the world, natural disasters like hurricanes, war zones. They've been to Ukraine, and now to Turkey, devastated by that earthquake. Right now, they're mobilizing their resources, they tell us. They're sending a team of disaster medical providers to assess the devastation in rural Turkey and then provide emergency care for those most impacted. Their role is really to determine the ground truth, figure out the needs, so that we can deploy a follow-on team in the next three to four days um, to get the care where it's needed most. We really focus on serving the underserved communities. Uh, so when all of the big teams are deploying to the big population centers, we're the ones working on the outskirts and making sure that everybody's getting the care they need. Impact Northwest says they'll often send a bigger team once that assessment is done, and that included, could include canine units and urban search and rescue as well. But if you're looking for a way to help victims of this earthquake, we've got a link on our website with several resources. Just head to fox13seattle.com. Guys, 